As we're heading into the summer and then the beginning of a new year, sometime in August, I wanted to share with you some conversations I had with the eighth graders in the last couple of weeks. We were talking about goal setting and we were deriving our discussions from this book by Adam Grasley and, and Larry Rosen, two experts in uh, neurosciences, who explain, and I'll read to you, our ability to establish high level goals is arguably the pinnacle of human brain evolution. So we use that idea to talk to the young people about what's going on this summer, what are they gonna do in the next four years? What are your goals? Where are you headed to? Because if it's the pinnacle of human evolution to set high level goals, then I wanna help them to create that habit of doing so. So we spent a lot of time of what goals could possibly be from hobbies to academics, um, physical conditioning, all kinds of things. It, it really didn't matter other than having high goals. And the other point that um, Grassley and Rosen make in this book is the one of the problems in setting high goals is we live in the third decade of the 21st century. We are bombarded by other kinds of influences that take our mind off of high goals. Uh, they quench high goals, they distract us. And then the problem is uh, to build up the executive functioning and the cognitive abilities that we know how to manage our time, our energy, our performances, so that we can continue to pursue the high goals that we desire. So being that this is a habit, the earlier you start, simple, simple, simple goals with little children, but it's a habit. It's a habit to have goals over the summer. Could be related to sports, could be related to the arts, could be related to uh, making new friends, could be related to academics. They're all kinds. But in working with your son or daughter and just establishing what are we going to do this summer? What do we want to accomplish? Of course, there's fun. I'm sure you're going to do all kinds of wonderful, wonderful things, family uh, bonding things. But at the same time, I would encourage you to have a similar conversation with your child whether they're in the kindergarten or in the eighth grade. What are you gonna do? Where are you headed to? What do you want to accomplish? How can I help you? We also spend time with the eighth graders talking about all the things you need if you're going to reach a goal from time management and organization to recognizing the things that distract you when you do focus so that you can make a comprehensive plan and have some degree of success. The children are little, kindergarten, first grade, of course, the goals are very, very minimal and easy to attain. But as the children get older and they start making plans for um, what they want to end up doing in high school or, or the kind of sports they want to get involved with, then the goals can be more long-term. But in any case, I think it's a valuable thing to practice with our children, to build up that habit. So the, the um, development of goal setting to be the highest pinnacle of human evolution is a part we can play in to help the children develop those kinds of habits to flourish, to grow, and to blossom. Thank you.